And when I say the Monterey Institute of Social Architecture, or MISA, um, this is not a typical organization. This is not a typical institute. It's, it's a, at this time, a small community of allies, more like a family. Uh, but we intend to grow it as a community of allies that, uh, that is global. Because basically to transform our various systems means that we need to draw from cutting edge thinking in the social realms, in the environmental realms, in the technological realms, and especially in, what, in a realm that I call context design. We need to shift our beliefs <laughs> from beliefs that are killing us to beliefs that will enliven us. Seeing is believing. But I'm more and more become convinced that the opposite is more true. That what we believe tends to determine what we see. And I'm seeing more and more people who are stepping into the uh, their capacity to create a future that works for all. If you look at all of the great ages of humanity, and you go from hunter-gatherer to agrarian to industrial to the information age, mm -hmm. in every case, uh, things have been very important, have been the primary focus. First is how do you find and kill stuff that you can eat. <laughs> and, and, and the agrarian age, same way. How do, you're dealing with things. You're dealing with the lower levels of the hierarchy. Mm -hmm. And the industrial age and the information age uh, have done enormous things in terms of improving well-being of humans but not all humans in a good way, and certainly not the rest of life. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's, we've been thing-oriented. And things can, will continue to be important, but the, but the future, our future, <laughs> as a living species is dependent upon our going beyond things. And what we're looking at is, is developing a field of social architecture, developing uh, the capacity of leaders in our various systems to become evolutionary architects, to become social architects. Mm -hmm. And so it's that capacity which is the non-thing that uh, I think is the next big thing.